Murray, my favorite hotelier. Obliging, helpful, polite, and always on the lookout to maximize his profits on the back of crime. Hi, Murray. Oh, the esteemed Mr. Michaels. What's on your mind? Is this note here from you? Pardon? No, I speak to my guests personally when I've got something for them. Was there anyone here asking for me earlier? No, you're simply not well known enough. But that will soon change, believe me. The woods around Willow Creek are pretty gloomy. The woods are quite exceptional, I'll have you know. Full of ghosts and demons, if you like to believe the local folklore. The perfect backdrop for all of the grisly murders that have happened here and are, regrettably, yet to come. You can hardly wait, right? I've lived here long enough to know that patience is a virtue. Why don't you go out and kill a few people yourself if you're so hot on it all? I'm a businessman, not a murderer. A small but absolutely fine distinction, Mr. Michaels. Murray, do you know where the local graveyard is? A graveyard? Didn't you want to take a rest? I'm not up for resting anymore. I'm sure you can't mean the graveyard behind the hotel. It's being redone right now. It's being what? I've had it removed for the time being, so I can relocate it in a sensational new setting. It means I can charge more for some of the rooms with views over the Gordon Graveyard. You've had the Gordon family graves leveled? To be quite honest, there was only Lothar Gordon's grave there, the founder of the original sanatorium. The family crypt is in the churchyard at Warmhill. Ah, oh, right. In Warm Hill, then. So, anything exciting happen? You mean, apart from Miss Valley's murder and the castle burning down and three people losing their lives? Hmm. Well, the fair's finished. In its place, we now have a new exhibition in the Willow Creek Museum of Modern Murder. It's opening in a few days. Oh, you should definitely see that. It's worth it. Oh, yeah. For you, most definitely. But you know I had nothing to do with the fire, don't you? Yes, well, according to the papers... Yeah, the British tabloid press is world-renowned for its believability. Well, of course they don't always have the whole truth in there, but the headlines do help me to keep the hotel going. In this case, at my expense. Do you know the inspector, Mr. Spooner? Oh yes, I certainly do. He was here twice. Took half the hotel apart. A terribly inconsiderate fellow. But good for business, too. But how often, as a tourist, do you have the chance to see this kind of an investigation first-hand? Unfortunately, he confiscated all of your and Miss Angelina's personal effects. Means I can only display replicas in the museum. Pshh. <laughs> what bad luck. See you, Murray. Back to work. The Willow Creek Telegraph. <laughs> the guests need to be kept up to date with what the murderer is up to. Huh. Blackmere Castle in poster format. I wonder who would hang this kind of thing above their bed. Huh. What have we got here? Bloody greetings from the murder village. See Blackmere Castle and die. Hello and goodbye with the Gordons. <laughs> Quite a one-sided selection of cards.
According to the map, this stream's called Old Wansfoot. This is where Miss Valley is buried, murdered by my cursed sister. Perhaps I should bring a few flowers the next time I visit. Warm Hill Church, 800 years old and no spire. Very unusual. A fortified tower with battlements. That might have been more essential than a bell tower. Quite a recent grave. There are even a few flowers still lying on it. That's quite a recent grave. A huge stained glass window for optimum illumination. Who's that? That doesn't look like the priest. Hey, you there. Good morning. What the... Oh, I'm sorry, lad. I must have nodded off. In the confession box? The bench has a cushion on it, at least. You're not the priest, are you? God forbid. I'm Mark, the grave digger. You must have a lot to do around here, being the grave digger. Oh, that's right. My job here is uh, quite secure. Do you know Warmhill well? Of course, but it's just a few houses on the back of the woods. There's more life in here, I tell you. Are you looking for something in particular? No, I'm just trying to get an idea of the place. Looking around this graveyard would give you a better idea of the place. And should you want to reserve yourself a spot here, then let me know. I recommend the southern slope. That's the best location. Thanks for the tip, but uh, I'm in no hurry to die just yet. But maybe it's in a hurry to come and get you. <laughs> what is it you actually do all day? Answer stupid questions. I mean, digging graves can't be all you do. Yeah, you're right, lad. I don't just dig. I repair things too, keep the church in order, guard the graves. And if you think that the weeds grow on their own around here, then think again. It ain't weeds and it don't grow on its own. But who's interested anyway? What did you mean by that? You guard the graves. Well, because of the clientele, so they don't get dug up by dogs and the like. Which dogs? Well, strays from around here. For them, a graveyard is like a... Uh, an underground hot dog stand? Yeah, exactly, with bloody tough sausages. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the church? What do you mean then, lad? Who built it? It certainly wasn't me, even if I might look that old. Must have been around the time Marcus Gordon was alive. Have you seen the dark part of the tower up there? Yes. He ran out of stone, and they say he took stones from his castle walls to finish it off. Demolished his own castle to finish the church. 
a model Christian. Perhaps his time was running out. Got himself buried in there in the end. A crypt that's a hundred feet tall with an altar and a bell tower, all for him alone. <laughs> what a modest man. All those toss on. <laughs> no, he treated himself to an extra crypt underneath the nave. But it caved in 12 years ago. Nobody can get in there anymore. Quite a woody area. That's also supposed to be the reason it's such a bloody area. The evil of the woods? <laughs> People around here read too many horror stories. Or have experienced it themselves. Have you been in the woods here at night? No. They say there's plenty to see. Murderous lords of the castle. The undead. Modred's voracious hellhounds. There are many stories about it. Probably as many stories as there are people here. Hmm. The woods around Willow Creek strike me as being particularly creepy. Yes, and the number of wild boars in there is uncanny. I've known them to trample down my fences to get at the clientele. But I've got some crafty traps set up. I'm looking forward to having a roast. The priest gave his permission. There's a fresh grave in front of the church. That'll be Sally's, the young cook from the castle. The poor thing was burned to death, just like old Bates. The fire didn't really make any difference. But Bates isn't here. Lady Victoria insisted on burying him in the Golden Crypt, like a member of the family. Just like Lady Eleanor, I assume. Yes. There's still plenty of space in the crypt. Lots of the Gordons haven't been buried there. Why not? Well, uh, there are just too many murderers and suicides. They're frowned upon in Catholic graveyards, particularly the ones who commit suicide. Why? What happens to them? Well, they're buried anonymously, without any religious ceremony, without the ringing of the bells, without any prayers, without a priest, nothing. They're all buried before sunrise, over by the north wall. Isn't that what they used to do hundreds of years ago? Perhaps where you come from. But we're in Warfield, the manor of Black Mirror Castle. Things are all a bit different around here, my lad. You don't happen to know, being the gravedigger and all, where Samuel Gordon's grave is? He must have been buried in 1981. Mm, that's a tough one, lad. So many people died here 12 years ago. Good and evil alike in the strangest of circumstances. I really can't remember who ended up where. You'd be better off talking to Father Fred, the priest. Perhaps he can remember. Where would I find the priest, then? Today? We won't find him at all. He left around midday. Some conference or other. Supposed to be back by noon tomorrow, though. I'd better be going. Keep your eyes peeled, lad. <laughs> 